The Minuter 6 battery is a lithium ion battery. The lithium ion batteries are lighter and have less memory effect than the Minuter 5 battery, which is a nickel metal hydride. The memory effect is after you charge the battery a number of times, it will not charge quite fully. And so over time, the battery will have less and less capacity until the battery just doesn't hold a charge for more than a few hours. And at that, at that point, you're going to have to replace the battery. The lithium ion battery will last a little bit longer, will have less memory effect. You'll notice the battery contacts have been relocated uh, to the back of the pager versus the Minuter 5, which has the contacts kind of pointing out uh, this direction. The Minuter 5 had problems with the battery losing contact. Um, as you would move around, the battery would bounce up and down or shift in the back, causing the contacts to lose connectivity. The Minuter 6 has the contacts here, which are pointed straight out from the back of the pager. So when you slide the battery on the 6, you're not going to have that problem with the contacts losing connectivity to the battery itself. The lock is on the battery, as you've seen in the last video. There is a little um, mechanism or little shaft that comes out and connects into the side of the housing here, and that locks the battery in place. There are two versions of the battery. There is a lithium ion, or excuse me, a standard version, version and a intrinsically safe version. The standard version is going to be your battery that will come with the non-intrinsically safe model. The intrinsically safe battery should be used with the intrinsically safe model. And if you don't know what intrinsically safe is, you probably don't need it. But intrinsically safe means the pager has been certified not to cause an ignition source in a flammable environment. You most likely do not need the intrinsically safe, but if you did have an intrinsically safe pager, you do need an intrinsically safe battery. If you do not put an intrinsically safe battery in the intrinsically safe pager, you lose the certification. So you'll definitely want to get the correct battery to go along with your pager.